Did you see that? Wow. Today's community has got an amenity like this for less than $100, no CDD, and today's model home is a stunner. Let's check it out. Welcome to another episode of Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, passion rule. And today I'm going to be showing you this beautiful builder model. It is five bedroom, four and a half bathroom. It's a two story home. The model is actually three car garage, but can also be built as a two car garage. And the community here is in Claremont. They just opened up a new phase and people are still on a waiting list for to get in. So this is a beautiful house. Let's go in and check the rest of the house out. Hello, hello, and welcome to this beautiful builder model home with all the wells and whistles. You know, that's something that the builder does really, really well. Now, this is a five bedroom, four and a half bath. On the ground floor or the first floor, you actually have the master bedroom downstairs with the flex space. Now, as I walk in, this is kind of the foyer area. And then to my Right hand side, I have the dining area that kind of opens up into the kitchen, which I'll show you in just a moment. And then on my this side is that flex area or the study or whatever you would like. Now, as I walk in, look at the ceiling height over here with that little station, this beautiful chandelier. Look at all the work that they have done on the ceiling side with the big window. Now, changing the bulbs on this would be quite a challenge, right? What do you think? Put that below. So as I walk in, I walk into the space. Now, this is the flex room. They call it a study. You can make it a gym or whatever works with a nice window. But look at the depth of this room. You know, it's pretty deep and then it has the extra lights. So guys, this is something that I want you to know that when you are building and if you're going to use this room as a home office or something, get that extra light. It's not going to be that much of an upgrade, but that would really help you. But if that does put some constraint on the budget, then there are other ways to light it up. But I think this is money well spent. So as I go through on this side, you actually have half a bathroom on my left hand side and on my right hand side, you have the laundry. So let me go ahead and show you the size of this half a bathroom. Look how big and spacious this is. You know, right outside this is a little linen closet right over here behind this door. You know, and I really love the selection. Now they have the hardwood woods and they have the tile. So they have the both thing come out, uh, going on. And as I walk over here, look at the amount of space I have. They have the folding area here. They have these uppers with, with this. But the good thing about this, and I've said that um, on my other videos too, that they're very easily accessible. Sometimes you have them from the ceiling up and it becomes really difficult to get hold of things and then they also have the downers of course these are the upgrades and right behind that door is actually the builder's office it's actually a garage this one is a three car but you actually can build this as a two car so just keep that in mind so there is some flexibility that you can get and these are the gorgeous uh, staircase with with an upgrade in terms of the metal now I'll get to that part in just a moment but look at the space over here you know, let me go around this because I want to show you something else. Look at all the work that they have done. It's really nice. And these are things that you could actually easily do. And then it also has the crown molding up there with the extra light. But look how deep is this place and it kind of opens up. The thing that I wanted to actually show you is this door, which is kind of very, very unique. It kind of opens up to your outside patio area. Now, I have not seen that. And, and now I know why they call it a sand key model. Maybe it's just uh, something to do with the keys, I guess. But as I walk down, this opens up to your kitchen area. You have a nice size pantry over here and it does have a lot of space also, guys. So, you know, if you are concerned about the space, trust me, it has a lot of space. Then you have this little wine station area or bread area with the downers and uppers over here. Of course, the color of this is different with a nice backsplash. 
And then this is a gourmet kitchen and the community does have gas, so that's a huge, huge thing. So you have the, the oven and the microwave combination. Look at all the color and all the space that you get over here. Now this is a hood. Usually you'll find a microwave in your standard, so just keep that in mind. But look at this one sink and look how big the island is and the color that goes along with it. Now you do have your appliances included, However, washer and dryer is not included, so make sure that um, if that is something you want, make sure to let us know so we can negotiate in such a way that you can get that. I really love these panel lights, but guess what? Look what they did. You have that area there, but look at the space and look at this little feature. You know, I really like the work. This actually is tile. Sometimes they have the wood, so they have the tile in between with the really nice wood trimming with the crown molding, extra light. This is another dining area for that matter, or a sitting area to just sit down and whatnot, but it's really nice. And then as I go straight, this kind of opens up. Now you have the extra lights all around. This is something that I really suggest my clients to do that because you know there are ways to get uh, uh, other lights, but if you can get extra lights, it's money well spent. So the master bedroom is actually right across, right behind this wall. So I'm gonna show you that in a minute, but look at all the space they have. And what I really like is the crown molding. And again, this is the wallpaper they have. And you know, wallpaper is coming back and look at the tray, the, look at the ceiling that they did over here with the extra lights and the extra columns that they put in. Now, this is my favorite part. Let me go ahead and quickly show you the outside of this. Now, this is my favorite part. If you've been watching my video, you know how much I am in love in doing so. One of the reason I do that is because I want to get some workout done, you know, but more so I want to show you when you look at the shot of your house, the whole house that you can see from here, the whole thing opens up. Now you can cover this lanai also if that's what you want to do but look at look at the angle that this gives you your whole house kind of opens up so if you are entertaining guests and stuff this is a really nice place that you can incorporate into that and as i go over here right behind look at all the space so this is the house it's it's really well made in terms of ent entertaining people and as i walk straight across behind these doors I'm going to get into my master bedroom. So you have this little foyer area right there, but look at the size with this beautiful column, crown molding, and wow, where do they find that stuff? You know, I see that in all the builder models. They have things like, I don't know where they go and find it, but they are just amazing. Professionally decorated, if for nothing, get the idea, look at this, look at this. I probably won't do it in my place. I'll probably bang my head in there early in the morning, but hey, whatever works for you. But look at the whole big window over here, and that leads to your, uh, but let me, before I go into the bathroom, look at the, they have this crown molding up there, but they also have this little molding up there that gives you good size. And then you have a different color flooring over here. So they have quite a bit of combination going on. And as I walk in, this is my master bathroom. You have a linen closet right over there. As I go in, you have the commode area, but look at this shower. Couldn't be any bigger than that. Wow, I love it. You have one, two, you have that little place. I like this little area right there. That's comfy, you know, and you have the lights, extra lights, but I really like, like the space that they have. They obviously didn't get the tub here. And then you have the two sink area right over here uh, with a little space, sitting down space for our lovely ladies to do their makeup and stuff. So please put down on the on the comments below what you think of this specific model and things that they have changed. You have this big room by itself as, as your closet. Now you can always go to Ikea or some other place and, and get those um, brackets so you, so you have more definition, but it comes with the rack as such. And as I go straight back out, I'm gonna go back to the living area. Now guys, I hope you enjoy our videos, you know. Now remember, I don't work for the builder, I work for you. So if you are looking to build, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And as I go around, I'm gonna go around the closet. But before I get there, I want to show you how much space they have this little thing that kind of goes in and wraps all the way around. 
So it gives you a lot of space. This could be the doghouse for the husband, which I find myself every now and then. So as I do that, I'm back where I started. I'm gonna go up the stairs into the beautiful second floor of this house. Let's go. So as I come up the stairs, one thing that I wanted to point out is look at this beautiful railing, which I kind of mentioned in the beginning of my video. Now this is an upgrade because this is a metal. Um, so this is something, but look at the height that you have in the whole house over here. And if you walk in, you have this space. I really, really love what they did with a little step up there. You know, this gives you an idea of what you can do in your loft area, you know, with all the space that you have. Now, on this floor, you actually have four bedrooms and three bathrooms. You have the two bedrooms and a bathroom there. Uh, actually, two bedrooms with each bathroom. And then you have a bathroom that shares with the two. So let's go in and have a look at this one. Now, this room on my right could be a perfect room for the guest to be able to look at this, um, you know, and have the privacy, but this is really nice. You have a good size closet that's a little bit deeper. And then you have the bathroom, which is a single vanity with a walk-in sh uh, shower with the frame. So you have that, you have a nice vanity. The size of the room is good. You know, guys, if you are in the market looking to buy, you want to start the process now if you're three, six, or even nine months out because a lot of builders are opening up these phases and are kind of opening limited number of lots. Now remember, I don't work for the builder. I work for you and I don't get paid by you. So reach us out so I can assist you accordingly. Now look at this room, which is identical in terms of the size, but it's kind of flipped over. I really love the way they have these things over there. I just got a little static up there. But look at the space, nice window. I'm gonna show you something very special in this room as I walk out. Wait till you watch that part. But it has a bathroom over here and it does have the frame, you know. But what I like about is these little things, you know, these are upgraded tiles, but you know, I did a model for another one called Antigua. Make sure you check the link. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the description. They had the plain white subway tile with this little trimming and that really kind of pointed out the whole uh, back of that, that shower area. So as I walk around, let me go ahead and show you something. Look how neat is this. You have really nice little window, but look at this. Isn't this perfect? Look at that. You have this little space in the bedroom itself. You know, this is how well they use the space, but this is perfect for a kid or even a little bit of a grown up child as their own study area, a library or, or whatever works in, in, in that regards. You know, this is really nice. Now, right across from my loft area is the two rooms. And now they have a bathroom in the middle that the chair. So as I go across my loft area, I have a bedroom to my right and a bedroom to my left. So let me go ahead and show you this one. Again, nice big window, extra lights, which I highly recommend if you could do so. A little closet over there, but look at the depth, you know, over here with the queen bed. And then as I go straight across, before I get to it, you have this linen closet right over there. And then you have the double vanity. And what I want to point out, and this double vanity is, is the space that you have uh, downstairs. But what I want to point out is the privacy that you have with this door. So while somebody is taking a shower, somebody can still use the bathroom, which I have actually seen with a lot of builders do that. Jones Homes is doing it, Pulte is doing it. You know, so the builders are kind of catching up to the point that that's what people want. Now, this is the other room as I take you straight down and look at the size of this room. It's pretty much similar, a little bit smaller though, and it's a little dark in this room. I guess I don't have the lights on, but I really love the way they have these things and how they decorate it. You know, if for nothing, I really love the idea that I get in terms of decorating. And look at this wall also, like they kind of use this instead of having just a plain wall, they kind of have little pictures and that's what you could do. Uh, when you are decorating. So I hope you enjoy our video. Please don't forget to put a comment below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. I put videos every single um, week on Tuesdays and Fridays. And look at this. I'm going to kind of sit here and try to figure this out. And I'm going to have you listen to some of my music if I can figure out how to hold this. My camera guy is laughing at me. 
but hey, whatever works well. Until the next video and until my next jam session, I will catch you later. Thanks for watching.